Hello, Paul Gabriel here for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us, how can I get Mesh Fusion to work? So this is a feature that's been in ZBrush for over four years, and we introduced it in ZBrush 4R4. So it's a really great way to fuse pieces together really fast and have a continuous piece of geometry. So I've got our spotlight model loaded, and let's take a look at changing this piece right here up. Maybe I want to put a square cube at the end of it or maybe add more of a cylinder to it and change up the shape a little bit. So I'm just going to turn everything off but that piece so we can take a look. And let's turn polyframe on so we can see our poly grouping and our geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the B for our brush menu and I'm going to hit I for insert mesh brushes. And what I want to look for are the insert mesh brushes that have insert H in them. So this H is standing for a half. So we have the cube, a cylinder, a ring, and a sphere. So right now I got the cube selected. So when I draw this out, you'll notice that when I move this away from the surface, that it's completely open. And this is how mesh fusion is going to work for you. So how this works is we're using an insert mesh brush with an opening and whatever polygroup we draw on top of, that polygroup gets replaced by the new inserted mesh, and then ZBrush fuses the new inserted mesh with the existing mesh. So let's take a quick look at this so you can see how this works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw this cube out right on this blue polygroup, and because I'm drawing on the blue polygroup, that actually is gonna get deleted, and then ZBrush is gonna fuse this half open cube with the rest of the surface. So all we gotta do now is clear our mass. We're holding control, click and dragging, and we're gonna do that again, and you can see that this cube is now fused with the surface. So even if I start smoothing it, you can see everything is connected. So let's take another look at this and maybe using the cube in a different way. Maybe instead of having the cube stick out, I actually want it to go into the surface. So let's look straight ahead on our cylinder here. I'm gonna draw my action line and just make sure that our little handles here snap to the world axis. And I'm doing that by clicking and then tapping the shift key, okay? And then now what I wanna do as I'm drawing out my cube, this time I want to hold the alt key and I'm going to also hold the shift key which will snap the cube to that pre-existing world axis that I've already drawn out with the transpose line. So now you can kind of see the cube right there but watch what happens when we do a little control click and drag and control click and drag again. You can see that cube is now being used to indent that cube surface and also notice that the cube automatically gets divided up a little bit more to match the surface that has a little more geometry to it and again if we smooth all this out you can see everything is connected let's take a look at a, another option to use mesh fusion so down here we've got these framing work that comes here and now maybe I want to add a little ring across here so we'll turn on our polyframe mode Okay, you can see that this end here and this end here are the same exact polygroup. Even though they're physically different pieces of geometry, they host the same polygroup. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell ZBrush, let's use our insert half ring, and I want to use that ring to go along the surface here. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this blue polygroup and drag that out and you see we'll get our ring and then I'm gonna turn on my transpose line and I'm actually even going to adjust this to the point where maybe I want it sitting there and I can even decide you know what I want it to pull away a little bit from the surface like this so let's take a look what we have here so we have a polygroup here and a polygroup here that has an opening. So what this is going to do, this opening is going to fuse with this and this opening is going to fuse with this. Now the key point to this again is these two polygroups must be identical in order for this fusion to work correctly. So we'll hold a control key, we'll click and drag, let's do that one more time 
and you can see ZBrush even fuses the gap for you. Okay, let's look at one more way to use Mesh Fusion with a little more complex shapes. So I'm gonna switch to a body piece that I have here, which is just a base mesh of a female. Again, notice the polygrouping. We have a polygroup on the top here where a head would go. We've got a polygroup where the arms would go, but again, notice that this polygroup is the exact same polygroup what's on the other side. And then the same thing for the legs, we got the green polygroup. So right now I have the IMMB parts brush selected. Again, I hit B and then I for the insert mesh brushes, and then I have this IMM brush selected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the M key, which will bring up m other pieces of geometry that are attached to this brush. Let's have a little fun here maybe and put a dog head on the top of the female body. So I got that selected now. I'm gonna look from the top view. Again, I'm gonna look at my transpose line first because I want it to align to the world axis. So I'm just holding the shift key as I drag out my transpose line. And so when I start to draw out my dog head, it's going to go with the normal. And what I'm gonna do is hold the shift key and you see the dog will now snap to the world axis. So isn't that sitting in the place I really want it to go? So I'm gonna again, move this around a little bit. Maybe I want it to go there. So again, remember the key thing here is I've got an opening for the dog and whatever polygroup I'm drawing on top of, that's what ZBrush is going to fuse with. So let's do our little control click and drag and do that again. And you can see now that polygroup has been deleted and ZBrush is fusing the head with the body. So let's look at this again, maybe with arms. We'll even work in symmetry mode. So I'll hit M and let's keep having some fun here. So let's throw a male's arm on, on this female body. So I'm going to click in here and start drawing it out. Okay. I can reposition this again if I want to. So maybe we'll put her right there. So holding again the control key, click and dragging, and then doing that one more time, ZBrush fuses everything together. Now we've got some scary, crazy little female man arm dog head thing. But there you have it. There are some simple ways that you can use Mesh Fusion within ZBrush. Thank you for watching and please continue to send in your questions to our Twitter account using hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you and happy ZBrushing.